Oh, hey, it's Lovie, and today we're going to make a lemon cake. I saw it on Plant Based on a Budget and Food Sharing Vegan, and it looked good, so I thought I'll give it a try. Sounded really delicious, and my husband is always up for cake, so anytime I make one, he will eat most of it, and I'll get to taste a little, which works out well. But come along with me and let's see how this cake turns out. I haven't tried this one before, so I don't know. And there's a little confusion for me about the size of cake pan. She says to use a nine inch. Most cake pans are eight inch. I have a nine and a half springform pan. So I'm gonna do up the batter and see how much it looks like it will fill before I try it. And we'll see how it goes and then do a little decorating on it so hopefully we can all have a good time and maybe it'll work out and if it tastes great then i will of course link the recipe for you and you can go check it out for yourself So as you see, this batter turned out pretty runny. So I went ahead and modified the recipe here and I added another around half a cup of flour to it to get it a little thicker and it did rise better after that. So here I decided also to not use the nine inch pan and go ahead and use the eight inch pan because as you see, um, there wouldn't have been enough batter and we'd have had a very thin cake if we would have used the nine inch. So it did rise well and the results look pretty good. And here I'm making the frosting, doing a little lemon zest first for the frosting and just a basic buttercream. But I chose to use a plant-based butter and it turned out really well. I mean, you know, it's pretty basic. And some lemon zest, fresh lemon juice, and here we go.
turned out pretty cute. Frosting tastes great. We haven't tasted the cake yet, but that's for dessert tonight. And as far as the recipe goes, I followed exactly all the ingredients and did everything the way that she instructed, but the batter was super, super runny. So I had to make some adjustments and I will tell you below what the adjustments were that I made to the recipe. You can try it either way if you wanna try it and see how it works out for you. But with the adjustments, the cake rose the way I wanted it to. I did end up using the eight inch pan instead of the nine inch as instructed because there was no way that that batter was just not gonna fill a nine inch for me anyway. You might have better luck, but this is what we've got and I'm excited. It's going to taste great. So remember to like and subscribe and go do something fun or creative today.